Hi guys and welcome to another Trek Guide video and today we got Autodromo Lago Maggiore East and this one is pretty difficult I mean it requires a lot of precision I mean when I'm talking about a lot I mean really a lot I'm using this Porsche it's quite understeery I have to say but it also turns really really well so you can probably get a really decent result just by using this car or you can just go with something like a WRX or something like that something that really turns well I have haven't tried the Beetle, but I can uh, I can kind of think of the Beetle as kind of a good substitute to this one. So, either way, guys, without further ado, let's get going. Okay, let's start with the track guide video, and I have to say, be careful with the downshifts. They can be quite useful, but if you time it very wrong, I mean, yeah, the car is gonna slide quite a lot. So here, I'm looking at the barrier there on the right. This is my first reference point and my first braking point. And just before the curb, you can see I downshift into first, which provides me a little bit of an angle. It's kind of helpful to have this angle. I mean, you will you will eventually see how I'm using gears around this track, but this is another one where I just tap the brakes a little bit, maybe about 50%, sometimes it's even less than that. Depends on the angle you take into the corner. And I just try to take a lot of this yellow curb kind of ish and yeah something like that I, I know it's yellow just try to take the most out of there and first gear out up shifting into second here lift before the curb and use a lot of that track on the right so you want to use the inside of the curb so it rotates the car uh, if you get too much rotation you can eventually stay on the power a little bit like 20 30 percent which will stop the car from sliding looking at the left we got a sign and then i just try to downshift before the curb once again and kind of point and shoot out of this one so this car i mean it handles pretty good but it's very understeery at i would say first second and third gear uh when you go up and forth it's kind of okay but yeah just be careful in that first and second so here looking at the curb and then brake straight just a little bit later than the curb brake straight and this is where i kind of let the car to coast so basically i kind of coast through this section and i adjust my brake and or turning or whatever i need to adjust but if you turn and brake with this car it can be quite quite a challenge i would say uh, yeah it's quite it's quite difficult but here middle of the curb i couldn't really find the perfect reference point but literally in the middle of the curb there brake 50 percent then down in third gear before the curb upshift on the curb once again and just try to use the maximum out of this track you know sometimes it's very easy to pick up a penalty but eventually you want to get as best as possible time in the qualifying and sometimes you know it's really worth the risk uh, eventually if you're getting like 16s like i am doing it here and you know just one little uh thing matters so much so here after the 100 meter sign just before the second sign i know sometimes it can be difficult to break there but just try starting to turn really at the curb so it's basically at the end of the curb you kind of position the car as you kind of almost start turning in and just as you pass to this curb first gear point out the car and literally shoot <laughs> so pointing out the car first gear into the second and eventually the car is not isn't gonna really turn that much it just starts understeering so you have to leave yourself a bit of space on the left hand side but this was i think this was all guys and be careful about the understeer and be very careful about the downshifts they can be useful but you know just just gotta be careful about that either way uh, thank you for watching this video you can even smash the like button if you really liked it but eventually i mean yeah i hope you will get your time down uh, so guys once again thank you for watching and i'll catch you next time bye